Chartwell Manor Boarding School opened its doors in 1970. Named after Winston Churchill's country home and situated on an idyllic estate outside of Mendham, New Jersey, Chartwell was presented as a place of reform and healing for children whose lives at home with their families had become unmanageable. Instead, for the 14 years it was in operation, Chartwell Manor Boarding School was a nightmare for the children who came to live there, a place where their trauma and insecurity was preyed upon, a place where they were re-victimized through physical, emotional, and sexual abuse at the hands of those charged with caring for them, particularly Headmaster Terrence Michael Lynch. Very little public information is available on Lynch prior to his career as an educator and serial abuser in New Jersey. Born in 1934 and raised in England, it is unclear when he moved to the U.S. What is known is that in the 1960s, Lynch was employed as the headmaster at Somerset Hills School in Warren, New Jersey. Although allegations of Lynch's abusive treatment of children at Somerset Hills would publicly surface years later, he left Somerset Hills School unceremoniously in the late 1960s. A repurposed mansion and estate, Chartwell Manor Boarding School opened in 1970 as a co-educational preparatory and reform school for struggling boys and girls under the leadership of Terrence Lynch and his wife Judy. But behind closed doors, Lynch abused his powers as headmaster and primary caretaker of the students. Stories of abuse from Chartwell students range from verbal and psychological abuse and emotional manipulation to sexual abuse and the creation and distribution of child pornography. Enrollment at Chartwell eventually grew to 300 students, predominantly boys, most of whom who lived in the dormitories within the estate. Discipline for students, regardless of gender, most often came in the form of public humiliation and physical abuse, with sexual abuse to follow. Although it is unlikely that a single child was able to escape Lynch's sadistic forms of discipline, evidence suggests boys were specifically targeted more often. The boys at Chartwell were frequently directed to be nude in Lynch's presence. One former student recalled that the headmaster fondled boys' genitals under the pretense of a medical exam and that they were often lined up naked and beaten on the buttocks with paddles. Another student described how Lynch insisted on cuddling with the children after he had beaten and humiliated them, attempting to comfort them in a perverse ritual of emotional control. While some students had told their parents and families about the abusive conditions at Chartwell, it wasn't until the early 1980s that reports were made to the authorities, who would then intervene on their behalf. In 1984, after operating Chartwell Manor as headmaster for 14 years, Terrence Michael Lynch was charged on a 103-count indictment of abusing at least 12 boys and two girls between 1981 and 1984. In early 1985, the school was permanently closed and Lynch was eventually found guilty. He served seven years of a 14-year prison sentence. After his release from prison, Lynch became a volunteer at a substance abuse treatment facility where he posed as a doctor and went on to sexually abuse male patients. Lynch was reported, charged, and convicted of these crimes. As news of Lynch's second conviction reached many of the survivors from Chartwell, some started to speak out while others reconnected with one another to share their painful stories. Many survivors were re-traumatized upon hearing that Lynch had gone on to perpetrate more crimes despite what was known about his past. Terrence Michael Lynch is now deceased, but the damage he inflicted endures. Most, if not all, of the children abused by Lynch suffered in silence for decades, and even more will forever carry the scars and trauma of their years as residents of Chartwell Manor School. As a firm, Jeff Anderson & Associates is already representing many former students and childhood sexual abuse survivors from Chartwell Manor School. New Jersey law allows you to come forward no matter how long ago the abuse occurred. If you or anyone you know was a student at Chartwell Manor School, call us confidentially today.